what's been going on with Nintendo again? Holy crap, man. What was it, Yuzu? Not that long ago? Gone. Nintendo, they just, I mean, everybody's going to have a different opinion when it comes to Nintendo Switch emulation. I have people, to be honest, and I'm going to tell you, if you're watching this, people be sending me, like, links to Nintendo Switch downloads. Like, hey, here, you can emulate this or do whatever. I don't do that. I don't do that. Once the Switch is out of its, its life cycle, then I'll hack my Switch and all that. That's just my personal thoughts and feelings. I don't care what you do. Doesn't matter to me. The Switch, Nintendo's so damn successful. All the people who are doing what they do, I don't think has harmed Nintendo at all. And Ernest, I understand Nintendo has to protect themselves. Otherwise, you know, with certain things, right? You have to protect your properties. Otherwise, you could lose them. But I do think Nintendo does go a little crazy with things. So Yuzu, a while back, we lost that. They went crazy with it. And even well before then, there's been lots of you know, things that Nintendo has attacked, fan projects, emulation, you know, ROM websites, and everybody, like I said, is going to have differing opinions on that. And that's fine. Don't want to argue with anybody on that. I get it. It's just the way it is. But just remember, I, 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 I like Nintendo's games. But at the same time, no matter how you feel about this, Nintendo is a company. They're there to make money. They're not your friend. They, they don't care about you. They just want to make those dollars. That's what it's about. They're not your buddy. So you can like Nintendo. You could like their games like I do. But at the same time, you don't have to suck their balls, right? That's just how it goes. I'm not going to lick their balls. I'm not. I'm, it's just they make some dumb decisions. And, you know, they sometimes I understand it, but then sometimes it's kind of nuts. But uh, Ryu Jinx, the other Nintendo Switch emulator which I, I believe they were going about things different than Yuzu. They're the next victim. And also I've been seeing, uh, as far as like YouTube creators, I don't know specific names, but I've been seeing it floating around on Twitter. People have been getting takedowns from Nintendo for showcasing emulation for like the Wii U. I don't even think uh, the, the examples I saw was like Wii U. I don't even think it was Nintendo Switch. It might be Nintendo Switch as well. But I saw somebody, I swear it was like yesterday, I saw somebody talking about this, that Nintendo was issuing takedowns for somebody showcasing Wii U emulation. Nintendo, the Wii U doesn't exist anymore. It, it, you know, maybe in spirit, but you're not selling the Wii U. Who cares? Why are they taking down videos for Wii U emulation? I, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. But yeah, so... On um, Discord for the uh, Ryu Jinx emulation, uh, you know, Discord, uh, it was posted today, not too long ago, like an hour, two hours ago. Uh, this individual yesterday, a GDK Chan, was contacted by Nintendo and offered an agreement to stop working on the project, remove the organization and all related assets he's in control of. While awaiting confirmation on whether he would take this agreement, the organization has been removed. So I think it's safe to say what the outcome is. Rather than leave you with only panic and speculation, I decided to write this short message to give some closure. These words are my own. I don't want to speak for anyone else here, so just remember that while reading this. So that's, you know, keep that in mind, right? Thank you to everyone on the server here, who's contributed code, documentation, or issue reports to the project. Thank you all for following us throughout the development. I was able to learn a lot, really neat things about the games that I love, enjoy them with renewed qualities and in unique circumstances. And I'm sure all of your experiences are uh, similarly special. So there you go. So the what's going to happen here? Um, it, it's crazy because... I always thought like switch emulation was kind of nuts that it progressed so fast. Like it's kind of Nintendo's fault, I would imagine. Um, but I, I kind of dabbled a little bit, just not by my own um, interest in the sense where I didn't go out searching like, oh, let me find out about Nintendo switch emulation like that. I wasn't curious in that regard. Um, where I was discovering it was more so products that companies would send me. Oh, check out my emulation hard drive, right? And I've seen other YouTubers, this is the same thing. They would send you a hard drive. They wouldn't tell you, like, you would just think, oh, it's a retro emulation hard drive. 
you know, like, oh, PS2 games, GameCube, Nintendo 64, uh, you know, stuff like that. And then you would get it and you'd be like, and there's like newer PC games on there. There's Nintendo Switch games on there. And yeah, out of curiosity, I'd be like, oh, let me see how this runs. Like, you know, they would have either Yuzu on there or Ryujinx on there. And I, I, I mess around with it. I'd be like, damn, like, it's crazy how well these uh, emulators would run these Switch games. Some of them, like the specific games, you know, would have issues, but it was just like an ongoing thing. But at the same time, it was like, there's games on the Nintendo Switch, even the new Zelda game, uh, the one where you play as Zelda. I bought that the day it came out. I haven't, I haven't had a chance to play it yet. I've been looking forward to it, just haven't had the time. Got a lot going on right now. Um, but I, I've been hearing even with that game, there's like frame rate issues and stuff like that. So there's been a lot of games that have come out for the Switch where it's like, it's crazy to think that a current game comes out and then you can emulate it. And then like, a lot of times the emulating it plays better than actually playing it on the hardware that it was intended for. And that, that sucks for like Nintendo switch owners, in my opinion, because it's like, dude, you get Nintendo put out. I think the switch is awesome. And I think a lot of you guys feel the same as far as the library goes, but the hardware was aged the second it came out. It was just, it was aged, and that's not necessarily the problem. It's just that, you, you know, you have to work with what you got, right? And that's what Nintendo's always kind of done. And you would imagine, who would have more problems with Nintendo hardware? It, it would be like third parties. And there has been a lot of third parties where some of these games just are not optimized. They just don't run well. Um, Freaking Mortal Kombat 1, holy crap. Like, they kind of polished that up a little bit. But even like Lollipop Chainsaw, Repop, having so many little issues with that game. It, and I feel like it could have been optimized better. But that's, pro that's a bigger problem with development and these companies out there just not, not really working towards the hardware that they're developing on or whatever, porting the games to. Just I, I don't know what it is. But a lot of these games that are having issues are games that are published by Nintendo or they're developed in-house by one of their studios or partners and they're still having issues. And it's like, so I think Nintendo with all this, hey, get rid of these emulators, take it down. We don't want to sue you. So, uh, but maybe they found, I don't know the ins and outs of uh, Ryujinx, but maybe it's like, well, they're not really doing anything crazy bad like Yuzu was. So we'll offer them an out instead of like, hey, we're going to sue you or something. I don't, I don't know. But it's like they're prepping for that Switch 2. And they're doing all this crazy stuff all of a sudden. Not necessarily all of a sudden, but just like right now, there's all these little things going on. Suing Pal World. We talked about that. And then it turned out, like, I thought, oh, they're suing Pal World finally for all sorts of crazy stuff. No, it turned out it was just Nintendo being Nintendo where they filed whatever patent or whatever the hell it was for the gameplay element of, like, throwing a ball and capturing shit. Like nothing else, and that's what they're suing them over because that got like approved this year. Pokemon's been around forever, so it's like, oh, in Power World, you throw a ball and capture shit. So that's what they're suing them over. That's like the basis of the the thing. It's like Nintendo, what the hell, man? Scummy ass behavior with some of this stuff, man. But yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys. You know, if you go to the Ryu Jinx um site, you go to um. You go to anything here, you know, the GitHub, you go to the blog. Um, there's not really anything uh, updated, but go to the GitHub. It is gone. And that's just the way it is, man. They're dropping like flies around here, dude. Thanks for watching. Bye.